How many planet Earths do you think will fit into one sun? A hundred? A thousand? It won't even constitute one thousandth of the star. Because the sun is 1,300,000 times larger than Earth. And it's not even the size of a red giant. In space, size matters, and it's time to figure out why. In this video, you'll find out, can Earth increase to the size of the Sun? How many times do we have to reduce our star for the solar system to collapse? And will life exist if we change the size of the Earth and the Sun? How will the Sun, reduced 12-fold, change life on our planet? Our star constitutes 99% of the mass of our system and is 333,000 times the mass of the Earth. Yet, the Sun is not a space rock star. It belongs to the class of small stars, yellow dwarfs. Let's start with reducing the size of the Sun threefold. This way, it'll get transferred from the class of yellow dwarfs to the class of red dwarfs. The Sun will get 2,000 degrees Celsius cooler and thousands of times dimmer. It's bad news for life, because the star's heat determines where the habitable zone of this system is. This is the distance from a star at which the water on a planet's surface may be present in liquid form. And most importantly, life could develop there. If the planet is closer to the star, the water on it will evaporate, as on Mercury. If a planet is located farther away, the water on it will freeze, like on Mars. By reducing the diameter of the Sun threefold, we may be able to turn Venus into the best place for beach parties. When the Sun reduces its waist twelvefold, it'll become the smallest red dwarf without an ounce of excess weight. There's a danger that Earth will start orbiting our star like the Moon does. That is, one side will be forever turned toward the red-hot grill, and the other will face the endless dark freezer. The most expensive plot of land will be the thin boundary between hemispheres, where the environment is more or less normal. But what if we keep reducing our star? What will happen to life when the Sun gets Earth-sized and even smaller? The solar mass is 1,047 times the mass of Jupiter. It's like a gigabyte and a megabyte. Even if it gets 26 times slimmer, our star will weigh like 40 Jupiters. At this stage, the Sun will turn into a brown dwarf. It's not a star anymore, but it's not a planet yet. The habitable zone will not disappear, but its radius will get reduced again. If the Sun becomes a hundred times smaller, its ultraviolet radiation won't be enough to develop life anymore. In addition, Mercury will find itself further away from the habitable zone. We can say that at this size of the star, life in our system will die. Becoming smaller than Jupiter, the Sun will no longer be considered a star. Its mass won't be enough to create energy, and even fans of winter swimming won't risk undressing under its cold rays. It'll finally fall off the charts of our favorite stars. At last, the Sun becomes smaller than Earth. The former yellow dwarf with the ambitions of a red giant turned into a cold and dark remnant of a star. It no longer has the strength to hold all the planets. From now on, the magnificent eight of the free planets will take their companions on a long journey through space. One day, they're gonna find their new star, which can't be experimented with like a flashlight. Let's put the sun back to normal and play with the size of Earth. Which way is it going to go? How will life change if we make Earth twice as big? If the planet expands to twice its size, the force of gravity will increase as much. As a result, we'll get twice as heavy even without abusing fast food. Caring nature will make us smaller so that the skeleton and heart can cope with the increased load. Besides flora and fauna, mountains will shrink to half of their size. Due to increased gravity, planes won't be able to take off. The satellites circling Earth will come crashing down to the planet. Small birds like sparrows and hummingbirds will become kings of the sky. With the increase in mass in the planet's core, the pressure and temperature will also increase. Volcanoes that have been dormant for millions of years will wake up and release volcanic gases containing methane and carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The planet will turn into a huge sauna. 
There will be tons of volcanic ash in the sky. In such dark times, trees will have to grow broad leaves to collect the rare sunlight. Living on a planet with dense and warm air, we'll forget about strong winds and changing seasons. Thermal underwear will be displayed at a museum, just like the armor of knights nowadays. The temperature will almost stop changing. With the increase of Earth, the Moon will find itself twice as close to us. Finally, the Moon conspiracy theorists will see Neil Armstrong's footprints on the satellite and calm down. At the same time, we'll attract problems from space. With the double diameter, Earth would be an easy target for asteroids that might have passed it by earlier. If Hollywood decides to make a sequel to Armageddon, the doubled Earth will be a great start. But let's go back to the experiment. What will the further expansion of our planet lead to? What will happen if Earth gets gradually enlarged to the size of the Sun, and even more? When our planet expands ten times, its mantle will begin to press harder on the core, and it'll harden. The magnetic field will weaken and no longer protect us from space radiation. The atmosphere will become denser, and the oxygen content will increase approximately twofold. We'll start suffering from oxygen toxicity, accelerated breathing, spasmodic movements of arms and legs, twitching of eyes, just like at rays. When Earth expands more than ten times, the Moon will fall on us, causing global destruction. At least NASA won't have to spend cosmic sums on the Moon program anymore. But even this is negligible compared to the size of the Sun. For Earth to catch up on the diameter of its star, it has to be increased 108 times. But for now, let's leave the current gravity. The contents of the planet will stretch significantly, the seas will become shallow, and there won't be enough soil for plants to spread their roots. In such conditions, Earthers will quickly go on a diet. Vast distances will require a lot of energy. The journey from New York to Boston would be a waste of time and effort. On a solar scale, the route will stretch for almost 38,000 kilometers, and that's the circumference of Earth as we know it. Now, let's increase the gravity of Earth 28 times. That's how much stronger it is on the Sun. If you used to weigh 70 kilograms, your new weight would be almost 2 tons. No more walks for you. Only low and thick plants can withstand such pressure. When Earth becomes bigger than the Sun, including mass, it'll have enough internal energy to become a star. Our system will become binary. The Sun and Earth will begin to rotate synchronously around a common center of mass. Unfortunately, no one will see that bright spectacle. Turning Earth into a star will assuredly destroy all life on its surface. Don't go thinking our experiment has ended with a complete failure. The Earth-Sun binary system will radiate more heat and light into space. Due to this, the habitable zone of our solar system will move further to Mars, Jupiter, or even Saturn. And there's a chance new life might develop there. I just hope it'll be smart enough not to change the size of any more stars or planets. Also, check out my other videos, like this one where I find out what's more painful, a powerful punch in the nose or a venomous ant sting.